हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ए न्यू वीडियो ऑफ सुनंदा ट्यूटोरियल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस ए वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज बायो माइनिंग ओके द टर्म बायो माइनिंग बायो मींस यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ एनी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ एनी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड माइनिंग इन द माइनिंग प्रोसेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एट फर्स्ट व्हाट इज बायो माइनिंग it refers to any process that uses or involves living organism to extract metals from the ore okay and other solid matter materials typically these processes involves prokaryotes uh, however fungi and plants also used and the process uh, where plants are utilized for mining is called the process is called as phyto mining or phyto extraction that means mining utilizing the plants so at first what is ore so ore is the natural form of uh, minerals natural rock or sediment which contains many valuable minerals so uh, in layman language we can tell it as a uh, um, uh, raw minerals raw minerals from where we can extract valuable metals okay so bio mining is one of the several applications within bio hydrometallurgy with applications in ore refinement precious metal recovery and bio remediation at first what is metallurgy it is the process that is used for extraction of metals in their pure form not raw form in pure form and bio metal bio hydrometallurgy means uh, where biological agents are utilized okay so bio mining is a process of bio hydrometallurgy okay so uh, it is a process of bio remediation also because uh, from uh, the environment we we are extracting the our metals because uh, more uh, increased concentration of any metal creates pollution next the largest application currently being used is the treatment of mining waste containing iron copper zinc and gold alloying for salvation of any discarded minerals bio mining process has been proposed as a relatively eco friendly or environmentally friendly alternative or supplementation to traditional mining method okay so uh, then history bio mining dates back to the discovery of in 1950 that acidothiobacillus ferroxidans thrives in iron or copper or magnesium rich environments so they observed that these microorganism can grow uh, in iron containing uh, copper containing and magnesium containing environment subsequent research revealed that potentiality of microbes including fungi in leaching metal from their environment they can extract the metal from the environment bio mining has evolved into an environmental friendly alternative to traditional mining with applications in extracting iron copper zinc gold uranium as well as thorium most importantly gold next mechanism of bio mining bio mining primarily involves bio oxidation and bio leaching process so at first uh, what is bio oxidation it is uh, a biological pre treatment that means it occur uh, before treatment actual treatment and it utilizes the natural oxidation abilities of microbes to remove unwanted mineral and that interfere with the extraction of target metal okay and it is widely used in the removal of arsenopyrite and pyrite from gold okay acidithiobacillus species is widely used to extract gold to release gold and uh, this process actually involves exposing the ore that means raw mineral to bacterial oxidation which degrades the insoluble pyrite and arsenic component uh, and adds it is a precious metal only removal of interfering metal sulfides from ores actually bio oxidation leaves metal in solid phase phase and solution is discarded 
so this process removes uh, interfering metal sulfides and finally uh, extract the purif uh, purified form of uh, the precious metal okay next bio leaching it is a classic method of bio mining and in this method low grade ore that means ore containing very low concentration of any metal uh, is dumped into a heap called leach pile and then soaked with weak sulfuric acid was then acid reacts with the ore sulfide matrix and encourages the growth of bacterial strain which starts to degrade ore and religious mineral or metal in fluid form then we can extract our desired mineral or metal okay next so uh, what is the news okay delhi's bio mining project so the municipal corporation of delhi mcd initiated this bio mining project in july 2019 to address the excessive waste in its three over crowded landfill sites as instructed by national green tribunal okay what is a national green tribunal it is a judicial body in india that deals with uh, different environmental issues or different uh, environmental cases so this uh, ngt or national green tribunal instructed uh, mcd to initiate a bio mining project in excess waste uh, overcrowded landfill sites the national green tribunal has ordered uh, the removal of old waste dumps within one year with significant process required within 6 months however ongoing bio mining project at two landfill sites in gajipur and valsava in capital city is likely to be unable to meet the 2024 deadline for cleaning those areas okay next what are the different advantages of this bio mining technique it is uh, it is a eco friendly technique and cost effective especially for low grade ores and can extract difficult metals from ores that cannot be processed or convenient uh, for extraction using traditional mining method the procedure is operationally very flexible allowing for mining of different ore types and working in various environmental condition next bio mining also aims to reduce waste by extracting only in demand mineral or target mineral reducing pollution and promoting sustainable practices in bio mining in mining then disadvantages uh, this process is very slow as compared to the traditional method it is limited to certain metals like copper gold uranium then uh, while bio mining is considered eco friendly it may cause hazards like accidental misuse of chemicals or microbial ecosystem alteration then scaling up of bio recovery process to large industrial uses is challenging due to environmental concerns and infrastructure constructions so these are some disadvantages of bio mining next current status of bio mining in india in 2024 many indian states have realized the growing importance of bio mining in waste management as a simple and applicable technique to get rid of waste into resources however challenges such as lack of clean water adequate equipments and regulatory support also exist instead instead of the above bio mining is becoming a method that should be utilized to manage both urban and legacy waste particularly in landfills which no longer can receive more waste that means uh, it has been saturated the process consists of using biological agents and nature's natural power to break down denatured biodegradable contents of waste categorizing them and properly managing non biodegradable materials despite of its advantages there are some significant challenges we have to face during the bio mining process one is the process is uh, very slow 
it is limited to biodegradable compounds only then managing the acidic metal rich solution produced during bio mining requires careful control to avoid environmental risk then large amount of waste generated in urban areas particularly in cities like delhi adds to the challenge for instance delhi produces over 11000 tons of waste daily but clearing rate is much lower suggesting it could take a long time to clear current garbage in this bio mining process because biological process are very slow as compared to the industrial processes physical processes the handling of wet waste which is difficult to bio mine and uh, continuous addition of fresh waste to landfills are ongoing issues so these are different challenges we are facing during bio mining process so it is all about bio mining i hope you will get benefit from this and this is a very important topic so please hit the like button if you like it and uh, please share with your other friends and please 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 subscribe to my channel to get more important updates like this thank you